All right, hi guys. Got all the turdies done. Been a busy few days. Gonna get back to uh, SOB, trying to uh, uh, fill up two or ten. Um, let's see where we are here. So we're, <clears throat> well, we're 200 and change. So whatever that is, you know, about 10 games or something like that, if we can put a streak together. So let's get at it. <clears throat> All right, so this hole is from the tournament. I'm gonna pause out there, shots. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna play this hole with a Titan. You can see there, that's about a two ring push up. So nine, seven with wind arrow, no elevation. Maybe I'm about three. So I'm gonna play, let's see, I'm gonna play less than, I'm gonna play about five rings because my wind arrows it's a bit more pointed up, so it won't be about that much. And I'm going to play about uh, two and a half rings OP, hopefully. Perfect shot. So the key is not to hit it too hard, just to hit it to the, the very back of that pad. <laughs> opponent sort of made the mistake that's easy to make is to, to fly it through the green <clears throat> on a tailwind uh, it's really easy and it's not that being behind the green so bad but when you're in the rough it's no good so I'm gonna put max topspin on here and let's see if I I'm gonna play with a little left spin to try and keep it left so let's see how many rings this is so something about like that so that's about three and a half rings so 11-0 with wind arrow, I'm in the max, pulling pretty sideways. So I'm going to play it about 12-7, well, so there's 2-7, there's 10. Mm -mm. I'm just going to play I made a couple of rings OP here, because I don't have time to, uh, to stretch it out. If I had more time, I would, you know, just move my target two rings back up. So you can see even really underplaying it there, you know, pretty close, but the, the weight was good. So it, it's just good to sort of, I, I just, with a tailwind of always underplaying this hole. I'll pause it out, uh, unless this guy misses and we'll go to, we'll be going to a shootout. <clears throat> okay, so our opponent made their uh, chip from the rough. So this hole here, I always play Goliath. <clears throat> So downwind can be a little tricky. Um, I always play from this front pad pretty much in every wind unless I had a huge headwind and, and can't get there. Or if you're using a lower level ball like a power one or two ball with a headwind you might not be able to reach that pad either. <clears throat> so I, I just always try and stay away from this shot just because I find the landing area so inconsistent it, it could, you know, if you, if you don't get your weight down it could go anywhere. You know, by just missing your landing area by a little bit. I know uh, you can hit good shots from here, but that's not too bad. <clears throat> so he, see when he bounced, he, he did get a nice little bounce there, a flat bounce. But you can get something bad happen there pretty quick. So I find on, I always put my blue ring here to the rough line. And that's where I sort of have my spins down. So I always try and go about three right. I want to come in from the right side. And with this wind... Um, it's it's going to be at most maybe one and a touch, something like that. So see the ball guide is showing just coming over. I'm going to go a little further than that because uh, the wind effect. Um, I might even take maybe just, just the one. So I think I was one and a touch there. So something that looks like that. Uh, so I play with the wind arrow, 8-2. That way I'm pulling out of the max. So I'm going to play it about 5-5. Five, five. see what we can do here hopefully we just get the bounce eee, that was a bit of a not the best bounce we wanted it's close nice you might have been able to say that. I was trying to go heavier into that front hill see how that wind effect really takes you right because I really played that back about three rings even 
Okay, so we snuck that one out. <clears throat> Okay, so we're rolling. <clears throat> so I'll play one more if I win, and then I'll dump a game or two. We're just trying to stay above the 2270. Okay, so we got about 200 more to go, 200 trophies. <clears throat> okay, so this is a neat hole. Uh, depends on the wind, how you're going to play it. So on a tailwind, we're going to go left, and on this headwind, we got to go right. So I'm going to play, oh, I forgot I changed my clubs for the tournament. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I want my sniper to be on for second shot. So I'm going to play, I'm, watch what I'm doing here. I'm putting in the quarterback, okay, 13-3. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to get it to sort of where I want it, right somewhere around there. I'm going to play it in the min. 11.7 Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change clubs to the A pocket. <clears throat> so I can have my sniper on for next shot. So I play no elevation on this shot, just wind arrow. Just playing it safe. You don't want to... See, that's even a little further than I want it to go. <clears throat> So you can see that's a little trick. Because the APOC, you don't have the ball guide, so I adjusted with the uh, I adjusted with the quarterback, switched to APOC so I could... I would have played quarterback sniper, but I, I've got to change that. I forgot I had a guardian in for the tournament for one of the holes. So the second shot, we're going to play at plus 10 with Windrow. Um, you know, you'll see on some other people play at plus 20, plus 25... But they're just adding elevation for the wind effect. It's really about a plus 10, plus the arrow. Okay, so where I like to play this is down low here. So there's my min right there. And there's my max. So I'm going to be pulling back. So I'm going to try and play it about here. Also 11, 4. And I'll be pulling sort of into the, the mid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up sort of right at the hole. And you'll see what I'll do here. I'm going to play it uh, about 13, 5, because I'm pulling so far back. So there's 3, 5, another 10. And now I'm just going to actually add, so a slice of a thing, and a, I'm just going to add a little backspin there for that wind effect. So instead of bringing it back more, I just added a little backspin. Whoa. So you can see that adjustment's pretty good. You know, you're sort of guessing of where I was pulling to. I, I was guessing I was pulling, because there's so many rings, um, more than the mid. See, I don't like playing where he is because he's pulling sort of around the bunker. Like, imagine hitting a bad great left and something really bad happening. Um, just don't feel comfortable with that. The shot from where I played it is just a nice roll up. <clears throat> Perfect shot. He was real close, his landing spot there. And he was right of the hole. That's pretty scary. Unlucky, he's saying. To me, he was lucky, not unlucky. Lucky to go in the bunker. <clears throat> okay, so I'll pause this out to the shootout. Okay, so this will play Goliath. You can play a rough bump in the right winds from up, up above. Um, I like in a total crosswind, you can play the rough bump. This hole is going to play kind of tough for me. So in this wind... On tailwinds, I play three, and that's, I'm going to play it about two and a half. Nine, eight, and that way. I'll be pulling down towards the mid. So I'm going to play at mid number here. Uh, because of that wind, I'm going to play, usually I would play sort of red to that rough line. But because of this wind, um, I'm going to play yellow to the rough line. And about five, three.
all the curl, which I don't have enough of because it's not the, the upgrade yet. Perfect shot. And it's a tough hole for us, but all we can do is the, you know, the best we can. So it's a good speed. You know, that's the best line I could do. As you could see, I, you know, I was as left as the pad as I could do. That was a, a kingmaker would have played better here with more left spin. <clears throat> but that shot should be, you know, a lot of times it'll be good enough to win. That was a nice shot. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I wasn't really watching. I didn't see him line it up, but he obviously played it pretty nice. All right, I'm just going to pause this out for a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Smoke time. Oh, I forgot. I better change my bag. One second. Okay, had to get that Guardian out. I don't suggest the Guardian for 2 or 10 at all. There's just not many holes that it's it's helping you. This is a sniper course for sure. Um, and then there's about 3 or 4 holes for a cat. <clears throat> My cat's not good enough. I think I have a big dog in the bag somewhere. Okay, so uh, this one I'm just going to use a, uh, let's see, maybe a navigator. I don't need much on this hole here. And I'm going to use my uh, my quarterback, so it's a good thing we changed. So I want to be about what's that? About four rings further than I'm showing here. So quarterback, <clears throat> thirteen one. So I'm pulling backwards. So I'm going to say about fifteen rings, roughly. Five, ten, and then. Up, something like that, and I just want to be Perfect shot. just to the right of that shadow. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't overplay this. I don't think I do. Yeah, perfect. So being further back is fine. Don't try and cut corners and do something silly here. Being back is good because you're going to be in the sniper bounce over and find the funnel. That's the key to this hole. Is is just where I am is perfect. Even a little shorter of where I am, just right of that shadow. And being back a little bit, the advantage is there is it's an easier shot to the funnel um, f you know, from being further back. Because I'm going to have to probably play some right spin from where I am, and I don't have a lot. This guy's getting a slow needle and the win five ball. He, it's f funny, his, his clad is more wind, please, and he's using a wind five. Okay, so this second shot, it looks downhill, but it's not, because the first half of the shot is sort of uphill. So I, I just play with arrow, and since there really is an angle, I'm just going to put plus five in. Um, let's see here. Let's try something like this for starters. We're just trying to see this funnel here, right in there. That's our funnel. So we're gonna leave it right there, a little short of the hole because my ball guy's not so good. Seven zero. And we're sort of in the mid range here. So I'm gonna play it uh, play about six five. Hopefully that wind won't push us too far left. Uh -uh. There we go. So you can see how easy this hole plays. You just you can see where the funnel was when I was moving my target and the ball guide wasn't moving. Now you're in your funnel and then you just have to find the spin. So I just sort of eyeballed where the hole would be and played it back because the Sniper 7 doesn't have a ball guide like the 10. 
So this is a shot you can play too. I just, I prefer not to play, the, I like to play the bounce over because it tends to find the funnel even if you might hit, you might be off on your adjustment a little bit because it, it bounces sort of into it. Um, where this one, you gotta be in it right off the bat. Um, I don't like, he didn't really adjust very well there with the wind. I don't know how he could tell if it was a side wind or a head or tail. Great shot. Big great left, so this isn't gonna be close unless he messed up. The guy holding one does. He made a nice shot. <clears throat> okay, so 232 ultra. If I win one more, then I'll dump one. as a message man hopefully maybe he'll forget what do you think my odds are all right so this qb what am i qb8 i still don't have the good top spin so i'm just gonna play it out here i'll just hit it Oh, three rings, something like that. This is another hole. You, in the in the tailwind, I'll go for it. I'll I'll, I'll play a power hook. You can get into a short iron, or, uh, you know. But there's no reason. I don't need to be way down there and mess with the rough. This is a good angle at the pin with a sniper. It's just another one where we're just gonna try. There's not really a, a pure funnel like that last hole, but you know you can definitely get. A, I've sunk it many times. You can get at it. See, I don't I don't recommend this this stuff here I I don't think it gives him any advantage this kind of stuff other than he's just maybe playing with the rough like if he hit this first rough with a great left or he's gonna go in the bunker you know he'll be able to reach from here but you know he's he's not gonna have a great shot at the hole I don't you know he's from the rough <clears throat> okay so this one here again we'll play we'll say that wind angle is about a plus five Okay, so there's my min, and there's my max. So I'll be uh, in between mid and, and max. You know, I'm just playing it back again. My ball guy's not the best. I'm sort of just gonna go at the hole there. So seven, nine. So I'm gonna say it's about mid. I'll say about seven, what's that? Six, eight, so plus seven, eight, I'll play it. That's right in the middle of mid and max. Boom, two in a row. <laughs> so you can see the advantage of, like, just when you play back, see, I just have a nice, easy sniper. There's no reason to be going crazy, especially with my shitty clubs. It's it's just giving me no no advantage. It's being right in the middle of the fairway. I've got all the choices in the world if I want to play right or play left and just go after the hole. And then if you got a lower-level sniper like mine, just remember to play, see how I played back, and just, just try to line it up. And you know, and you're just eyeballing the ball guy. I forgot that I had to work today. Message me. I'll probably have to end this shortly because I got to work this afternoon. <clears throat> Okay, so if he doesn't want to... Look at the 980 trophies. <laughs> I mean, how far do you have to dump? He's going to stare at me for a while. Okay, he wants to play again. 980 trophies. <laughs> Some of these 
guys still in. <coughs> like how much do you dump when it's too much? <clears throat> you know, I, I play it with uh, shittier balls. Shit. Look at this guy. APOC 7. I didn't even notice that on the last one. 980 trophies. <laughs> wow. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. The other thing about dumping trophies is when you dump too much, it's possible you're just going to be playing better players, you know, that have also dumped or whatever. It, there's just no advantage to dumping like that. That was a nice shot. <clears throat> so this one I'm going to have to play with a big dog. So we will uh, put our big dog on. <clears throat> I'll take out a kingmaker. Big dog. All right. So this one I just play with four topspin. And I aim at that sort of the... Uh, my ball guide at the... Uh, the top of that snow there so just straight up with wind arrow about six three I'm gonna play it less than that because I just don't want to mess with the uh, pulling it too much I've pulled too much before here so I'm just gonna play it about six if I can get it there I can't quite get it there so we're gonna give this quite a bit of OP and everything it's got hope it's enough with this club <clears throat> so this is why I play four topspin because I don't want to get too much roll down and it'll roll down and that's also why I have the big dog if I didn't get like if I hit a great left there and I had too much topspin I'll roll into the rough where he almost did because he in my opinion he played it a little too hard so now he's got a cat seven so he's got a puck seven cat seven taxi ball he's got all the goodies this guy and lowly us with our APOC 2 and our big dog. We're going to go after him. The big dog 6. Great shot. <clears throat> it's easy to pull too far left here. There's the whole hole here going up is all right to left slope. Okay, so how many rings do we need with this guy? I'm still fucking close to not making it. Four and a half. I don't think I can get there. Oh, how much topspin do I have? A lot. So let's see. Can I play it back here? So I'm just going to play the safety shot. I don't think... Well, I could also play up here with topspin. See, the four and a half where my f is in the rough. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. So I'll go that way. The problem, I, I don't think I'm going to get it over. I know I'm not going to get it over here. I'm just wondering which ball would go further. I think this one would, it's going to roll further, but we'll see. Perfect shot. Just don't want to go in the bunker, get it well right. <clears throat> I was a little worried that if I played the uh, bounce over, that I wouldn't get there. So see the advantage he had of having the, the big clubs. So now we're gonna we're gonna have a difficult shot because we got this shitty firefly. If I had a you know a good end bringer, I'd feel pretty comfy with this shot. Perfect shot. <clears throat> okay, so that's our max. I'm going to play no spin. Um, actually, I'll play one top spin. One top spin there. Right at the hole. 11 6, interface. This is 6.8. So I'm going to play the full max. Um, those shots, especially into a headwind 
or a tailwind because you, it's I had a basically a straight line at the hole. In a sidewind, I don't mind the roll up shot, but definitely in a head or side, I like to play up closer to the hole like I did with just one spin and go at it, not the big long um, top spin shot. I just find that that shot's just a lot more consistent. Okay, so this is going to be tough for us too. So I'm going to, um, let's see, I'm going to go three left and three top into a headwind. Okay, and what we want, we can't see our ball guide, but I'm assuming, I'm just going to play, I'm going to assume that we're, we're far enough up, something like that, and tend to, in my face with a big dog, should be around the mid mark. I'm going to play about five, maybe just a little over five there. I think I should have enough topspin to get it up there. So let's see, one, two, not a bad bounce. Not So not the best shot, but not the worst. That's a tough shot, obviously, for me. I don't, the rough bump is so inconsistent. Um, <clears throat> see, it still didn't get left on me, eh, with three left spin. It's kind of strange. Shot. Okay, so see this guy's got all the clubs and all the tools, and you know, I just don't understand. Okay. I doubt he's gonna want to play again. He's losing to a guy with a firefly and a, and a big dog. Alright, so I'm gonna play one more and then I gotta work for a bit. Um I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this out and dump a few games. Okay, so I dumped uh, dumped two games in nine, get us back to twenty three forty. Where are we at here? So we're at we're almost at eight hundred. We're getting there, almost getting it done. <clears throat> so I'm gonna end it after this this game here. I'm gonna have to work a bit this afternoon, and, uh, and then we'll go at it tonight. Well, and we'll close this sucker off. Okay, so this hole here, I'm just going to play a Titan. I, I think I'll use the big dog on this one too. Okay, so I'm going to aim uh, down the right side a bit. So 12, 8 plus 5, I'll say that wind is, is about 6 rings. Just, I don't need, because I've got the big dog, I don't need the big overpower. I just want to guarantee that I get in this fairway. A little curled to offset the wind. Perfect shot. Uh, oh, there's my try. I gotta fucking finish this play. Hey, honey. Can you log me in and just, when Dennis's invitation comes up, or actually, I'll be here in a sec. Can you just log me in? And when I'm done this tournament, I just have a minute. Oh, are you on a time one? Yeah. Okay. It's no. over in Okay. Can, would you just log me on then? Here, I'm just doing on my phone. I might be done in a minute anyway. play about one and a half if I remember. I don't mind being just in front of the green. 
Okay, good. I had a feeling he was going to do that. Right? Okay, so I'm going to kill this, and then uh, I'm going to come back uh, this evening, and we'll uh, finish two or ten off.